Hey everybody, this is Matt Crisqualo coming to you up close and personal. I'm gonna be doing another pizza review here of a place in Pompano Beach called Brooklyn Pizza. I've never been here before, um, but I drive by it quite a bit and I'm gonna go check it out and see what it's all about. Now, as I look at the place from the outside, you know, it looks like a you know pretty decent little pizza joint. Looks like fun. I'm gonna go check it out, all right? I'm gonna walk in there and go get myself a slice, and then we're gonna judge it, and I'm gonna to, to talk about it a little bit, okay? Let's do this. Hey, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna order one of these cheese slices. You see right there? There's a cheese slice. Boom. That looks pretty good, all right? There's a cheese slice right there, and to be honest with you, so far, you know, I've got a little bit of trepidation about what I'm seeing, but you never know. You don't gotta be open-minded. Let's try it, okay? All right, so check it out. Now, what I know, there's a couple of things I noticed. You got the, the red and the white and black, which is like a real, you know, strong branding choice. I get it. That's nice. It's simple. And I noticed back there, they have one of those dough express. You know that pizza? It's a, it's a pizza press that takes the skill and the level of skill out of um, having to make a pizza. Because you don't have to know how to pound it out by hand. is that they have like a, a, um, a conveyor toaster oven right there. Now in the back, I'm assuming they have a big pizza oven, but it's also a conveyor type of pizza. So now conveyor, conveyor oven types of pizzas are pizzerias to me are generally designed around low skill and also to be able to make pizzas um, in a regulated way so that you don't have to worry about you know consistency. You put it in one end, it's like a big giant toaster and it comes in that comes out the other end. However, you know the pizza never touches a hearth, which is like a piece of you know concrete type of material. Um, and that does affect the flavor because every little detail of the pizza but making process does affect the flavor. The ingredients, the water, the cheese, the way the methods of cooking, the way you touch the dough, the human touch. You know, how much pressure you put on it with your hands and, and all that stuff. And, and even to be more metaphysical about it, even the amount of love and attention and care that your whoever's cooking the pizza takes. So here we go. Now we're going to check this out, okay? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, so you too. So here is the pizza. So this pizza right here has, okay, now in my opinion, they're not using... Um, the highest quality of uh, whole milk mozzarella. I can I can tell that it's it's a you know it's 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 not like a, a, a you know like a, a whole milk type. And I can also smell that it tastes. It's got that kind of like fast foody kind of pizza smell to it. It doesn't have the exactly like what I was looking for. But I do like that it's got like a thin a thin thing going on, and I like that. So I'm going to sit down over here. And I'm going to try this pizza and see what it's all about. Now, let's look. Now, you know, if you if you look at the bottom of the pizza, you see the way you could see. I don't know if you see that, but you can see not really leoparding. You can see the, you know, you can see the marks of the conveyor belt screen on it. So, eh. And then I could feel the pizza too, like the way it the way it folds. It's been heated. It doesn't have a real crunch. It's got a little bit, not too much. Okay. Mm. All right. Mm. I gotta be honest. Tastes pretty good. But I really got hard to please, you know what I mean? I, maybe that's also part of it. But if I was gonna be really discerning, I would say this is not the best pizza I ever had. It definitely is not. It's pretty good. But it's not like a... It's not gonna impress somebody who's like a pizza aficionado. It's just gonna satisfy that primal need that you have for a little dough with some, I mean, little bread with some sauce and cheese on it. But I would not say that this is, I mean, they call it Brooklyn pizza. I think that's, that's not true, man. I, I, they don't make pizza like this in Brooklyn. And if they do, in Brooklyn, you gotta be on your game, man. You're not gonna put a pizza like this out, I don't think, but. You know, I'm going to eat it because I'm hungry and because I love sauce and cheese and uh, on, on carbohydrates. But I'm going to tell you, 
It doesn't have the leoparding that I like. It's not cooked on a hearth. The cheeses, you could tell it's subpar, it's okay. And the sauce, eh. Listen, it's hard to make a living in the pizza business nowadays. It's not like before. So a lot of people cut corners. They like to cut corners and save money any way they can. These guys made deliberate choices to not have the top shelf ingredients. And the methodology of how they actually make the pizza is also um, not, art, it's not, it's not like at a high level, okay? They wanted to be able to design this place so that they can hire low skill employees, maybe pay them a little bit less, not have the struggle of what it's like to hire, um, you know, seasoned, uh, experienced um, pizza makers that make pizza by hand. And unfortunately, you taste the difference when you have to do, when you choose or have to do it that way. So, sorry, but this ain't that happening to me. It's okay, but it's, 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 P, it's not a PSO, which what I would really call a pizza shaped object. I know that I will try pizza that's a lot worse than this. This is not terrible, but it's not gonna rank up there with one of the one of the better pizzas I ever had, sorry. I don't know. So in conclusion, I just finished the pizza at Brooklyn Pizza, okay? Look at the grease content on the paper plate. It's not that bad, it's not like, uh, some people get grossed out when it's a lot of grease. There's not that much grease on here, so, you know, they did double up on the plate, see? There's two plates over here. I'm a little bit funny that way with my pizzerias. I like to give one plate because it all adds up and it gets expensive. But if I had to give this place a, a score and I got to come up with a name for this score, you know, like a yum score or a, a za score or something. If you guys can help me out with a name of what we can name this, that would be great because I want to give it a score from one to 10. Now, I, the pizza to, for me is getting judged on the, the, the ingredients and the overall taste, obviously. Um, things that like the texture, the crisp, the bite, the flavor, and just the way it makes me feel too. This one left me kind of wanting more. I was left a little bit empty on it. It didn't, I would not necessarily want, I wouldn't want to come back here. It's not making me nuts about it. I think the kind of people that might come here, you know, they're pretty, uh, they're okay with the standard fare. They're not looking for anything that's exceptional. So uh, on a scale from one to 10, if I had to score it, I would probably give it, um, I hate to say it, but like a three, a three. Anyway, that's my take on it. Hey guys, let me know what you think. And uh, look, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And you take it easy. And if it's real easy, take it twice.